Combat Operations Center. So nothing happened for that year that I was in Al Anbar province without me knowing about it. My job was basically to grab uh, disparate pieces of information up different chains of command and then tell a story using satellite imagery and uh, like my intelligence and everything like that to just put a story together of what happened. And so I knew everything that was going on and I started uh, sneaking around and like doing more research and trying to be as knowledgeable as possible in order to understand my job. And one of the things is I had a lot of cognitive dissonance because what I realized was everywhere out there in Al Anbar, most of the people that we were fighting, they weren't these foreign fighters. Whenever we did find a foreign fighter, everybody in the AO, everybody in MNF West, Multinational Force West freaked the heck out because it was such a rare occurrence to actually find a foreign fighter the people we were there to fight. Mostly what it was, was just local Iraqis doing what I would do, like they said, if they came over here, just like, okay, there's a mortar tube, there's a bunch of old mortars laying around, I know that's where the base is, and I'm just going to drop it in and shoot it at them. And uh, obviously, it's just maintaining a cycle that was perpetuated throughout that entire time that hopefully we're starting to change this this mindset of where everybody's an evildoer and we're all at opposing sides with one another. The biggest farce that I've seen happen, or the lie that's been perpetuated since the start of the war, was this whole uh, line about the, the, the surge worked. And they talk about the Sunni awakening councils. Um, after I, I left, like Al Anbar, Sunnis, right? Um, that entire insurgency in Al Anbar province, when did it end? It ended when they realized, hey, you know what? The Americans would pay us if we stopped shooting at them. So the whole success of the search wasn't based off bringing more people in. It was the same people that were shooting rockets at me when I was in Iraq, killing other Marines while I was out there. They decided, hey, we'll be your friends now if you give us money. And now we'll patrol and do what you used to do. And that's the biggest thing from my experience in Iraq. The biggest point that I want to say is we just have to change this mindset of being opposing everybody, thinking everybody else is an evildoer, and just being antagonistic with the whole world.